Hey, how's it going? Adrian Davila here with a really quick tutorial on how to ramp video using Twixter. So the first thing is obviously bring your clip onto your sequence. Then after that, I want to ramp this part when he gets out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the clip right there and we should be good. Uh, the only reason why I cut it is because it would be pointless to add the filter onto the whole clip, um, especially if you're going to run this at 100%. Um, 100 so then we go to, there it is, Twixter. Go to filters and start my ramp. So I'm going to start at 100. I'm going to go forward about 3, 4 frames and then speed it up to 500. And then go a couple of frames. That's good. Uh, put another keyframe right here. Go three, four frames to slow it down again. 100. So I'm going to cut that because we don't need to render all that other stuff. And that's it. Um, option R, render. While that renders, let's find the sound effect. Oops. A whoosh or something dark. When you add sound effects to these ramps and it makes them, it sells the effect better. I like it. Um, what's a good one? Delay. That's a good one. So I'm gonna use that whoosh and. Um, like I said, it should sell the effect a little bit better. This thing's almost done. There it is. Okay, the master. Throw in my whoosh. Oh, come on. There it is. And put an endpoint. It's gonna start about right there. There's the ramping. It obviously needs a little bit of tweaking, but you get the effect. So that's uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, feel free to watch my other videos if you have any other questions. Regarding my other videos, do not hesitate to email me. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you learned something. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys later.